never been a big fan of Windows, to be honest. I thought I'll just download Ubuntu 18.04, flash my system with it, and uh, see where I can go from there. In this video, I was just thinking about making a complete guide on what I use as my software development OS in particular, which is Ubuntu. I just convert my Windows PC to Ubuntu, which is right behind me. Uh, I, I just use Ubuntu for a lot of purposes, it's just not an application development. Even though in this channel, I've been making videos on Flutter, which is primarily on Mac OS because I just wanted to leave a clear picture of how Flutter is very useful. I actually use Ubuntu uh, in terms of software development, be it at work. I even beat at my own application slash web slash server development uh, activity. So I just converted, like I told you, my Windows to Ubuntu. I thought I'll just share what I did to do that and what are the applications I use in Ubuntu. All right, now is the time to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done that, I'm just giving you a reminder. Uh, you can stick around to see what I did. All right, so I just did what I had to do to set up my Ubuntu. I just flashed my Windows PC with it. Uh, I also pre-installed all of the things I wanted. Primarily, I would need three important things. First one is my very favorite, Python, obviously. Who does not use Python? Python is my favorite language. I have talked about it in a lot of forums. So, Python is going to be the important, importance, importance, uh, important difference in terms of what a programmer does and it actually helps in a lot of things. I use Python, I just have to set up all of these things. Uh, primarily, Python is used for uh, making mostly in terms of server architectures for me. Server, server, all, my, all of my servers run in Py Python. I use Django or Flask, depending on what is the use. I, I, I'm just going to go and, uh, I've just installed. I just have to go and set up this PyCharm. Alright, so Python is up and running. Um, like I told you, my server architecture, my scripts that I run, there are some basic, basic things like server help, help utility scripts that I run now and then. And uh, going forward, you're going to see a lot of those things in this channel as well. Just going to build some things like I've been telling in a lot of videos. And Python is the go-to for me. I use Python in a uh, lot of scenarios, uh, primarily being server architecture. And the next important thing that I use is might have guessed is Android Studio. IntelliJ is going to be my most important uh, IDE in terms of uh, running Java and Android. Uh, but uh, the important, important thing to know is that uh, my application development uh, is always surrounded or is always uh, pivoted uh, with uh, Android Studio only. I've had some issues with Eclipse. I know some people are very drawn towards Eclipse but IntelliJ has been my go-to uh, IDE in terms of development for applications and in also in terms of developing for uh, Java development as well. The, I've not touched Java in, in say more than two years but yeah, I've done some quite a lot of work in terms of uh, developing Java applications as well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this up as well. So two things that I have is PyCharm and uh, IntelliJ which is again Android Studio. Once that is done, my third important IDE slash tool that I use is uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have heard about it. It's a Microsoft product, but uh, Visual Studio Code has been my go-to for uh, developing front-end. I've uh, done some quite a bit of work in terms of developing websites or uh, say developing uh, dashboards and uh, this Visual Studio Code has been very, very helpful. Um, there have been some changes to what Visual Studio Code was before to what is now but I think it, is, it is still has the utility and it still has the ability to hold anything that it it's thrown at it. Yeah, a lot of people do a lot of application development with Visual Studio Code. Primarily uh, Flutter can be done with Visual Studio Code but yeah, I'm not, I'm going to stick it stick to IntelliJ and uh, do Flutter application development in that. So, okay, says, what is with this c shape statistics? I don't know. Alright, so Android Studio is also set up, my uh, uh, ID is up and running right now. 
and the Visual Studio Code should be up and running as well. I have just installed everything. The Bionic Beaver, as Ubuntu 18.04 is called, is really, really helpful in terms of installing all these third-party applications through a tool called Snap. And the Snap is very, very helpful when well, I just run as a command line, just put this in the command line, it's going to run without any issues. All right, so three important ideas I've discussed are uh, the PyCharm for Python development in uh, and server architecture in particular, Android Studio slash IntelliJ for application development in Android and Java, and in Flutter as well. So Flutter is what this channel started. And third is the Visual Studio Code, where I do all of my uh, front-end application development, front-end website development, and so on. All right, so some important another important thing that I use is a Git. I'm sure that a lot of people others will know git git is actually a version control repository maintenance command line tool and uh, git has been there uh, i've been practicing i've been using it for more than two to three years uh, i'm straight out of college if anybody is going to point out i'm not a very experienced developer and i'm saying two to three years because that's been my complete actual coding work that has been going through and I've been practicing all of these through my intern period and through my full time and yeah I just got a bit I would say a bit good at it so these are my go to tools that I use for Ubuntu in particular and uh, it gets my work done I don't use any fancy plugins with the terminal terminal is where you do a lot of things in Ubuntu so Git is my important tool that I use and nothing more than that nothing more nothing less uh, this is just quite a simple setup that I have, but a lot of work gets done with this. Alright, if you like this video, you know what to do, hit the like and share. But most importantly, if there is anything else that you do with your Ubuntu setup, and if anything else that you want me to do with my Ubuntu setup, I'm very much happy to learn about it because I just, I've been using Ubuntu for two years maybe, and uh, just for development purpose only, and uh, these are the things that I've been that I've tried and tested out and I've just got comfortable with. And uh, if there's anything that else that you think might be useful for me, I'm very, very much happy to learn about them. You can put that in the comment section below. And uh, let me meet you in another video. It's hopefully something that can help you in the software development journey. Peace out.